Hello, welcome back. Last time I did the other group one entry, water, water everywhere, nor any bite to eat. Now I say did, but more accurately, I went in, stumbled around for a bit, and then left in a daze after getting almost nothing done. <laughs> so I said before that my architect guess was MX Vladi. I don't know if MX Vladi entered this contest. I thought of a couple of other architects who uh, could have done a thing like that. I was thinking either Doom or Blorks 1. And based on what I've been reading in the chat, my suspicion is very strongly Blorks 1 now. And I think I remember hearing that he has like three entries in this, so we'll be seeing more from him. Alright, group two. This is Shallow Water, Rock Giants, uh, Gel, Soldiers, uh, Thin Ice over Shallow Water. This is my entry, by the way. <laughs> uh, so, Spooky Woods, among the trees, many pairs of eyes follow your every move. I chose a forest theme, I ended up with a bunch of evil eyes. Oh yeah, evil eye, that's one of the main elements here. Um, so, that was how that title came about. Right, uh, so based on what I've heard, the difficulty of this may have landed a lot higher than I thought it was going to be. I was aiming for like seven-ish brains, about the same as Outings of the Delver. Delver. Um, but yeah, I think I landed at like eight or more. <laughs> so, like, I can understand how stuff like uh, water, water, whatever, uh, ends up the way it is. Because, you know, contest entries usually don't get tested too much um, by people other than the author. And author judging their own difficulty is incredibly hard to do. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'll just sort of explain how these rooms work and what my thought process was for building them. Uh, so let me let me just like get them all on the map first so I can point at them and do stuff. Uh, this is a gel timer room. Don't let gel mother grow. This is about herding a rock giant out here. Uh, this one's about moving a mirror on thin ice and a bunch of related enforcement mechanisms. Uh, this is kind of a big mess. I'll get to it when I get to it. Just get everything on the map here. So it's these these are the only five rooms. This is secret because it ended up being a little bit too too magical um, for a normal puzzle. It's just just a big magic move sequence kind of. But I thought it was still interesting enough to leave there. Anyway, so um, entrance. So I don't even remember how this room started out, but it ended up being just like. Heard a rock giant around evil eyes, out of the room. Actually, it doesn't go out of the room because it can't fit out of there. Uh, yeah, extract rock giant by waking up evil eyes is basically the, the main thrust of this. So mirror is there to help me block evil eye vision. If I wake this one up, let's see what happens. Like I have basically two choices of meaningful evil eyes to awaken. If I awaken this one, rock giant ends up there and is just stuck forever. So don't do that. Um, if I awaken this one, it causes problems later, right? What problems does it cause, exactly? I don't remember. Let's find out. Uh, yeah, so one thing I don't like about the way this room turned out is that there are lots of kind of subtle ways to get stuck that aren't immediately super obvious. I mean, you can see the consequences of what I just did there pretty quickly. Like, this rock giant just can't go anywhere. So you have to park that evil eye on that force arrow to keep it out of there. Um, oh, yeah, so I'm just realizing that, like, it's not immediately clear from reading this that eventually... Well, yeah, it is. Of course you can get in there. You have to stab all those evil eyes, and some of them are facing walls. Yeah, okay. So that's fine. I awakened this, and how is that going to cause me a problem? Because I have to go down here, and that causes him to get stuck on those arrows. Yeah, anyway, so let's just do the sequence. Sequence is, block that, awaken this, put him on the arrow, uh, leave that asleep. Is this the point where I sacrifice the mirror? It's pretty early. I think it is. Yeah, because I have to awaken this one, and the only way to do that from where I am is to step in this shallow water, where he won't see me if there oop, isn't a stepping stone there. I can avoid waking those up by not by stepping in the water, because they can't see past that. Wow, yeah, just even looking at this now, wait, how do I get that in there? I have to awaken that, that's right. Yeah, so I'm required to awaken this evil eye, that's fine. Now, this is sort of a final trap. Um, I have to park evil eyes all along there, so that the rock giant will be able to slide along this and not get trapped anywhere on it. Boy, yeah, <laughs> even having just set this down for like a week, it's been a week or two since I built it. This already seems 
hard and complicated, even for knowing what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, okay, so... <laughs> difficulty tuning, pretty hard. Uh, this was built kind of in a hurry, this is like three days for all of these rooms, something like that. Anyway, so I know I need to park all of those there. I needed to not awaken you yet, that's the last one that I do. Someone, this guy in particular, needs to park himself there so that I'll have a complete wall for that. And the rock giant comes back north. It's okay for him to step here, but not here, because this would be a stuck spot. This just gets him there temporarily. So you're awake. I uh, have to deal with these two sliding around each other, so I let you go down there and slide like that. It just feels more convenient to park these as north as possible, so pick the northernmost parking space for those. Then I can awaken this, which will release the giant. He wants to slide along here, and that becomes the last uh, blocker to make sure he actually slides. Then with the giant as a tool, I can bridge across here and actually kill those things. And there we go, that's a room. Yeah, this is the first time that I've actually looked back at this since I since I built and submitted it in such a such a hurry. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I am seeing things that I didn't see then. Okay, uh, so this room, this is kind of um, the principle this started with was that I wanted to have a mirror on thin ice. Now finding a reason to do that was actually kind of hard because I only got thin ice over shallow water. So it couldn't really affect Beethro traversability. I had gel babies as an enemy. So the idea came to me to make j gel babies stick to the mirror as a thing. And they're like, all of this is just an enforcement mechanism to make sure that works. All of this is an enforcement mechanism to make sure you don't step off the thin ice. Because again, it's shallow water. It doesn't affect Beethro traversability. How do I start this again? This is somewhat magical, the way this mirror has to move. I think it goes... Is that the spot? Yeah, so this works really weirdly. I had to... So this is one pretty cool architectural technique that I enjoyed a lot. Was to set up a situation just like, yeah, place down a square of ice, place down a mirror, put some gel babies there. Then just mess with it like I'm trying to solve a normal drawed room and see if it's possible at all. That's how I came up with that sequence of moves. It is a little bit move order dependent, but it's set up so that in that move order, I can stick the two gel babies to this mirror. The, the goal is to stick them to the mirror so I can walk back out here through there and lure them down through this passage without ever stepping here. Because if I ever step there, those just get trapped behind arrows and are unreachable. So, uh, and I have this little bit of shallow water here to keep, keep that space safe. Anyway, so those gel babies are set up. And then all of this just sort of plays out. Enforcement mechanism, make sure you have two gel babies with you. Uh, how does this enforcement work exactly? Oh yeah, with an additional complication. I have to park them on those force arrows because without them, I'll show you what happens. So if I would just like kill these. Oh, I can kill this now, by the way, but well, this is, this is, <laughs> this is not a run that I'm keeping. This evil eye has to be brought here without ever moving south. Um... I guess you can a little bit in the shallow water, but it doesn't do you any good. If he ever sees you when you're south of this row, he'll get trapped on those arrows and can't get anywhere. So I have to stand here for a while and let that come here. That's what the gel babies are for. They make sure this one, whose beam intersects that, can slide um, along here and get out without getting trapped in there. Okay, and yeah, I put in this additional little complication. You kind of have to dance around. If I step here from too far south, the gel baby moves in there. If I step here from too far south, the evil eye wakes up early. And you don't want that. Actually, oh no. Have I just found a break? What if I do wake you up early? Well, this doesn't really change much of anything. Oh yeah. Look, I can get away with only one gel baby here. Shoot. Well, that's something to fix. Anyway, how this is supposed to work. <laughs> Again, built in a hurry, limited testing. <laughs> I'll fix this for when the compilation is published. How this is supposed to work is you have to go dance around this, get to this shallow water out of range of that. Cross this beam right here because you're out of range of the evil eye, so you can do that. If you step down here, that's also fine. Okay. 
Park that in there. Uh, how will I fix that, I wonder? I don't know yet. I have very limited tools. I learned lots and lots about what evil eyes can do. They're an incredibly versatile monster. They've become one of my favorites. Uh, this particular group did not have any mechanisms. I had no orbs, I had no pressure plates, I couldn't toggle any doors. Which turned out to be way more limiting than I expected. Okay, so this is just the cleanup phase of the room. Alright, room's clear. Yeah, so I had to learn to do puzzles without any kind of, like, mechanisms that I can activate from a distance. But it turns out that evil eyes are a mechanism I can activate from the distance, basically. Uh, here, let's do this one down here before going to the east. So this is... this is sort of meant to be a big, super intimidating looking room that breaks down into very simple steps when you actually want to solve it. So this is a big, messy enforcement mechanism for a few things. But what you actually have to do here isn't too complicated. So let me try and sort of go through the things that I'm trying to enforce. Uh, so... These two are evil eye gates, right, so these are monster-only passages. Beethor cannot go south through, he through here, though he can go north through there to clean that up. Uh, right, so the, f the first thing of interest here is that I have to stand here for a while. If I step south, I can't step north because that arrow's there. If I step south too early, those get trapped forever. Um, but if I just wait here, right, spiders were in my group. Every element in the group of, uh, in, in the palette of tools for the puzzles had to be used, so I had to make a spider puzzle. This was, this was the, the format that my spider puzzle took. Um, so if I just stand there, I can't defend myself from both sides. I get killed by spiders if I wait long enough for these to get out of here. So those need to be blocked up somehow. These are the tools for blocking them. They're supposed to come in here and slot into this space. Since an evil eye cannot go over shallow water, which is what this is, it gets a little hard to read with all these elements here. There's a lot of force arrows here. I, I wish this room didn't have to look so messy, but this was just what was necessary with the tools that I had available to me. Briars are there just to be a non bethro traversable tile that evil eyes can see through. So, uh, these both have to be shoved into here. If you try to do them individually, like say I would awaken that and put that down there with these extra passages, I, I'm not sure how I feel about including these. These end up being basically red herrings. Um, and I don't usually like those in a puzzle, but they were in the original design. I decided to leave them there. So, you know, you can try to prevent that evil eye from getting back out while you heard this one in, but you're not going to be successful. He'll go down there, sure, but, you know, you need the mirror. Well, hang on. Okay. So do you need the mirror? Mm. All right. Since I'm just trying to go through this step by step, it looks like I've solved my problems currently. So I waited there long enough for those to get where they needed to go. Okay, so why do I need the mirror? Mm. Those wake up. I'm forced to wait a turn here after I go through the shallow water. Why that is will become, later, uh, will become clear later. I'll just let those go there. So let's see, I can avoid getting killed by the spiders by doing this. Alright, so here's where the problems come in. Uh, with uh, what I just did. I need... I need those spiders. Oh, wow. <laughs> Even parsing this, knowing what's going on... Yeah, okay, I'm... I am very much understanding now <laughs> what I've done wrong here. <laughs> this was... Uh, <laughs> I should have made this simpler. <laughs> if I step here early, the rock giant gets trapped and can't be a bridge across there. Uh, I have to step all the way down here. So I don't have those spiders. This is kind of an impasse. I have to wake that up to move the rock giant, but then he just moves there. So the idea is you park a spider here and here to clog that up. Uh, I don't think I can do anything else short of the full solution. So anyway, here's the set of steps that actually gets this done. Place mirror here. Smash ra Yeah, that's right. Those are all on force arrows. So I just have to do this. I, I originally had put a rock golem here, but I'm not allowed to use that, so I had to quickly put up a revision with a rock giant that works just like a rock golem. I'll kill these two on my way out. Anyway, so you just wake those up, push the mirror south of you, hold the rock golem north. So while I'm standing here, I went too early. I have to let those get into place so they'll block the spiders for me. Anyway, so the reason I need the mirror is to sploosh in there, 
because that would reorient me to the south and make my back vulnerable with this rock golem there. I have to wait there. So he would catch up with me and kill me at that point if I didn't, if I hadn't pushed the mirror ahead of me. So anyway, those are there. The reason I need the golem... Oh yeah, there's an additional complication here because I just couldn't resist. You have to let him get one step closer so that he'll be ahead of the spiders here. So I kill him in that spot so the spiders do not follow me. Good grief, I went overboard with this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry to the people who play this and are suffering through it so much. I, I understand what you're talking about now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, only sort of, because I know the solutions to this, and even, even doing them that way is, is tough. Anyway, with a spider parked here, if I awaken that evil eye, the rock giant just steps south, and gets into a spot where I can turn him into a bridge. Uh, I need to do that the other way. Alright, so he's a bridge now. I can get here. Some monsters are coming for me. I'm gonna have to deal with them. It's fine. Alright, and I don't need the spider anymore. Its job is done. Uh, this is all symmetric. Other than this, I had to introduce an asymmetry to, to use my palette of elements properly. It was symmetric when I had a rock golem there. But rock giant breaks it. Anyway, that's fine. Uh, so do the other side, same way. It behaves a little bit differently because of turn order of the golems that come out, so I end up with a stepping stone on the left in both cases, but it doesn't doesn't make a difference because I don't need to step on those those spaces kill stuff, and I'm done. So that's the entire mechanism. It's a complicated one. So yeah, my, my goal with, with this is just to make a big complicated thing that's hard to parse, but the, the ultimate actions you take are extremely simple. <laughs> I think I made it too complicated. Okay, so that's those three rooms. Uh, this one... I think this was actually the first room I built in here. I had to use a soldier somehow. This soldier dies on turn two. <laughs> so all he does is breaks that gel and puts Beether in danger. I have to enter facing a specific way. That's probably one of the main components of difficulty here. So I have to make... I'm on a timer here. If this gel mother grows, then I can't really get to her. Uh, I only have this one mirror for creating a stepping stone there, uh, which I guess is not clear why I need that yet. You'll, you'll see. Um, so right, I have to kill this a very specific way. I think I'm doing this right. Uh, leave that little bit there, drop this thin ice, and I have exactly enough time to hide so that the gel mother doesn't grow. Okay, now... This is just sort of a uh, tight timing challenge where you have to use this, this bit of safety all the time, but accomplish some tasks at the same time. Uh, yeah, okay, so even just remembering what I need to do. <laughs> so I need to get this mirror out. Is it even clear why? Good grief, what have I done here? <laughs> okay, so let me... Um, let me do some things. Let me try to fail the room. So if I try to cut this gel, I have to get in here at some point. If I try to cut this gel, I die because this is an inescapable situation. So that's why I... That's the first reason I need the mirror. So I need that for protection. Okay. So I go back here. In if I try to come in here and retrieve the mirror... Uh, I can move it a little bit, but I come up a little bit short of getting back there in time. Uh, because I had to make this turn. So, um, and I, I could do that multiple times if I had one more turn. Come back here, push it out a little more, and get it to that space. So what I actually need to do to make that possible is to park a gel baby here so I can move my sword through the mirror and back to move it. That's probably the subtlest trick in this entire entry. Um, again, man, I am feeling like I just went nuts with this. I... <laughs> <laughs> ah, boy. Anyway, so you get a gel baby over there. Have to hide because you're out of time. Have one turn of leeway here. Gel baby gets moved to this spot. I didn't do that quick enough, did I? I didn't. Oh, right. I have to exit this way so I'm facing like that so I don't waste time turning my sword. Boy, I made this super tight. Good grief. And I have exactly enough time to do that. Wow. 
<laughs> All right. Anyway, gel baby's gonna get parked there. I don't have time to fully get him in there. Gotta just do that because it's as tight as it gets. Uh, I have to do this again to get him fully into position. Wait a moment, face this way. So gel baby is there, sword face is like that. I can move it through the mirror and move that quicker. Oh, something went wrong. What happened? Oops, uh, so wait, wait, step. Did I have a move inefficiency? So he moves straight there and straight back. I guess I just took an extra step somewhere. Okay. And then from here, I think I have enough time to get the mirror all the way out. Uh, I should have exited facing that way. Yeah, like I can get it all the way out here and even some distance toward that. Uh, not much more than that before I have to turn back. Okay. So then I have a mirror. Uh, I think I want to actually hide again. So now I can stab the gel and survive this. Can't kill all of it because I have to hide again. How much can I kill? I think this much. And then maybe you? I don't think I can get away with that. No, I need to... All right, I need to do... That's not good enough. I... Let's see. Maybe if I do that, that's right. Then I can kill this guy on my way and make it. Mm -hmm. Just barely. So there's a soldier horn there. That was an element that I had to use. That was the only one in the entire level. Uh, I don't actually want to blow it yet. I could. Uh, yeah, I do. I'm ready to blow it. Okay, so I'm going to blow the soldier horn. A soldier is here. The reason the soldier needs to be there is to kill the gel baby that's going to spawn here when the, the gel mother grows. So I put that there. I'm going to checkpoint. Let her grow. Kill that. Kill that. And then let the soldier come in and finish the job. Uh, okay. If I walk out of here, um, if the gel baby ends up here, the soldier actually dies if he tries to kill it. So I do need to be careful about attraction range and stuff. So like if I just let the soldier do his thing there, then he doesn't know how to kill it. So I have to actually keep it in that spot. That was not intentionally an extra bit of difficulty. It just sort of happened that way. Uh, cause soldiers aren't too great at their jobs. Anyway, ho. Oh. <laughs> That room's done. There's still a secret to do, though. I had no access to secret walls or broken walls, so uh, this secret is just just a path. Just off the beaten path. Okay, so let's see. What are the mechanisms in this room? These two need to be stabbed. Right, this is about multi-stabbing gel with the help of a soldier. Sounds kind of scary but I've set up many things in this room to make it easier. So let's see, there's a rock giant here. If I try to stab either side of this, then I can't get to the other gel baby on the other side. So anyway, I have like a bunch of force arrows pointing to this spot. This is a very important spot. It's got a path leading from here to here. If you inspect these force arrows, which admittedly is a bit hard. Uh, well, now hang on. Don't I have this set up so that I can get a... Oh, there's shallow water there, so I can only stab this from there, or... Oh yeah, okay. So if I want to extract a rock golem, <laughs> which maybe you wouldn't know why you'd want to do that yet, I can't do it here because I would just die. Uh, this arrow's pointing this way for a reason. So anyway, um, to get the soldier started on his job, I mean, we can just smash this and see what he does. See if he happens to drag his sword over that gel. He won't. So he kills that evil eye. Those evil eyes are all just a time-wasting mechanism for him. He kills that and actually escapes. That's interesting. Wow, he stepped there. I wonder if I could convince him to face his sword southeast while he does this. I don't know if there are alternate solutions to this room. It'd be nice if there were. All those evil eyes, he's going to die because he decides to turn his sword instead of back swiping. He only knows how to focus on one target at a time. Uh, I could try and help him and keep him alive. Uh. 
Well, I killed him. <laughs> that's not keeping him alive. That's the opposite. Uh, I can try and help him and keep him alive. I'll try a little harder. Ah! Doesn't seem like I can. Because he's a soldier. Here we go. Okay, so he survives. But he has nothing to target over here after he does that. Yeah, so the point of all that is to keep him busy for a while in this area. And he, he's supposed to make a final pass back to the left to try to stab a rock golem in this position, is the idea. I'm kind of tempted to try to see if I can make him, since he did actually step over this space, see if I can, like, kill a couple of these to get him to... No, what I learned about soldier behavior is he likes to face his sword... When he picks a new target, he likes to face his sword toward the direction he would kill it from, from his current position, basically. So when he kills an evil eye over here, I need him to face his sword southwest. I think this is the last one he kills, maybe? Face it southwest. Uh, which this spot is just sort of a magic spot that does that. Anyway, so what I need to do is to retrieve this mirror. I think I made the timing tight enough that I have to do exactly those moves and hold him in place. So mirror comes down here and becomes a stepping stone so I can stab this and extract a rock golem to get it there. How's anyone ever going to figure this out? This is why I made the room secret. Because <laughs> it's hard to figure out even for me remembering how it works. I need to wake those up to distract him because if I don't, he's going to come after my uh, rock golem while I'm doing my work here. So I'm safe from that guy. I can go in and try to bring him out, but he insists on killing the guy that I need. So instead, I awaken these to give him a distraction. Uh, and I had to... Oh boy, so yeah, see, this is where it gets, like, uncomfortably magical. The problem is, like, using soldiers, I don't know how to make it not a magic move sequence. I have to wait once in here, and then the attraction on those evil eyes works better somehow. Yeah, I wasn't happy with that part of the, that, this, this room. Uh, I need to do this differently. So the golem follows a path in here like this. Okay, he's in place. I can get there in time. Soldier's going to face that way and drag his sword over the gel. There we go. Then he dies. No matter what I do, he dies there. <laughs> uh. Okay, so that's how you do the, that room. In retrospect, now that I'm looking at it after getting a little bit of distance in it, I'm not sure I'm really proud of that one. It's just, it's overly complicated. It's too magical. <sighs> Making it secret, I should have, I should have changed that. All right. Well, I'm happy with most of the rest of this, even if the difficulty landed way higher than I meant it to. <laughs> uh, I think maybe this is the easiest room on the level, which is fitting. It's the entrance. Followed by maybe this isn't, like, too terribly hard to figure out. There's a little bit of magic in routing the gel babies in the mirror and stuff. Then followed by this, which is complicated. Then this, which was tighter than I expected and has this really subtle trick in it. It seemed like a good idea, but I think I made it too subtle. So maybe I'll tweak this a little bit somehow for the, um, the, um, the thingy, the, um, the, the full compilation for release. Anyway, and then, yeah, I've, I've given my thoughts on that. So anyway, that's, that was three days worth of architecture for me. I'm proud of what I made. I think, I think this turned out well for the amount of effort I put into it and the, the palette of tools I had to use. But yeah, I'm understanding that my difficulty ended up just way too high. Anyway, cool. So that's Spooky Woods. Uh, I'll see you next time to try group three. I will be coming back to group one to retry the water, water entry thing. Um, I've had some ideas for some of the rooms I couldn't get done. Uh, still no idea what's going on in that secret. Um, I, I have what seems to be an impossibility there. But yeah, I want to go through like all of them and get a taste of them once. Then I'll come back to clean up the ones that I wasn't able to finish in the, the one single session with any one of them. Alright, see you next time for group three.